were you thinking I was I mean it sounds like you were really into music mm -hmm. um, was that gonna be a career path I was hoping it would I mean I, w I was I, as a high schooler I mean I was a frustrated would-be you know lead singer uh -huh. you know and stuff and uh, emphasis on would-be yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and also on frustrated uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, so uh, yeah I mean I, I'd always been fascinated by the entertainment biz business or I well I didn't know the business as a mm -hmm. kid but just the industry rather um, yeah. I you know I loved the idea of you know these crazy people on stage being able to reach enormous amounts of people you yeah. know and all that um, and uh, so once it became clear that I was not going to be a musician you know I was like okay, how can I you know become involved you know mm -hmm. in this and uh, so the first uh, answer to that question was after I got out of school was to move out here to Los Angeles because at that time I was going to be working you know in the movie business which mm -hmm. I did for the first four years that I lived here. Um, what did you do? I did everything from the crappiest little PA job up through uh, that's production assistant for uh -huh. those of you who don't know um, and uh, up through second assistant directing I did booming and sound uh, what, uh, and then I went above the line I, I uh, was in development for a bit my last regular industry job was I was a producer's assistant oh wow yeah any and, movies we do no um, not that I worked on okay. no I mean I worked on a lot of little independent productions you know yeah. some mid-sized ones and stuff and that was great because you know um, it was it was a wonderful opportunity to learn how the whole beast operated and by, by the beast I mean the whole entertainment business the larger entertainment business out here in Hollywood you know so because, was there one takeaway from that experience well there was I mean it's it pretty much came at the end which was um, you know I came to the realization that I needed to you know get out of that I mean I no, I mean I, I loved working you know in that in that area yeah. and I wouldn't trade those four years for anything because like I said it made me learn how the whole thing worked sure. and all that which was fantastic but I finally got to the point where, like, I started asking myself, okay, are you comfortable being 45 or 50 years old and doing, you know, 29 hour days, nine days a week, mm -hmm. you know, on set, mm -hmm. you know, somewhere out in the middle of nowhere in Finland or whatever? Right. And my answer to that was, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's not what I saw. Yeah. 